Okay, so today um, we've got um, Arthur Gill's custom um, Simline machine. Now, this machine has been back and forward through the design phase and through various reasons has been a concept for almost two years now for Arthur. Um, for various reasons we couldn't start it and we had to finalise the design. But basically it's a tribute um, to his wife and means a lot to him so we've prepared it up uh, to the spec that he wants and I hope he enjoys it. Now the reason this machine is of a particular interest is because um, you may notice it is quite a lot larger than our standard machines but still quite compact when you consider the overall dimensions. If we look over there, we've got one of our Slimline Master machines. That's with the wider profile, so it's already a little bit larger than normal. And that's got the 24-inch screen. Um, if we pan back, you'll see that this one is uh, about 4 inches taller. Um, it's, but it is only a little bit deeper. Um, however, this machine is a complete custom profile. Um, it's got a custom curved sides there. That come down it's got a larger control panel to accept a lot more controls um, but the way we've done it is we've been able to integrate it to look very similar to the kind of control panel construction of our master and slimline master control panels so rather than being a separate box section um, that free stands always held down with bolts as it is on our king models like this um, it is integrated and the sides completely go up to the edge of the control panel but it's still got the flat top that you get on the King models. Now the model has got one more party piece I'll show you shortly but basically the customer sent us his own controls for us to fit. We have got um, XRK joysticks I do believe which are based on hack ones uh, we've got the U-Track track ball, we've got the Tornado spinner, and um, we've also got the LS32 um, rotary joystick, which is designed for games like Ikari Warriors, where you can move in eight directions, but also rotate the stick to turn your play around. Now, we haven't got the interface sorted out for that, because we need to leave that to the customer, but he wanted a dedicated stick for that. There's Ikari... Uh, one to three use that and also a couple of other games that use it it is a nice touch if you want it and as you can see we've centre mounted those above the track ball there so it's nice and comfortable to play without getting in the way of player one or player two he's also got an overall purple theme going the marquee is a deluxe marquee um, we've retinted that in purple to match the excellent purple tea moulding that trims this machine and we did a special request on this lightning artwork which is usually only available in blue or red and we've had it recolored in a similar kind of lilac and violet tints to match the tea moulding and the marquee this machine has also got a huge 28 inch screen inside it's actually a TV inside this one um, again connected through the standard VGA connection as we do with our normal monitors and that gives a nice, very, very bright and comfortable display. If I stand at this one with this right by my head and get an idea for how large this is compared to some of our other machines. I've um, got a huge control panel space here and um, I say it should be very comfortable for two players to play at. No problem about elbow room and no problem with spectators being able to see the screen either. So we're just going to test this. I would test it with Akari if the rotary joystick was all set up but it's not just yet so I'll just quickly go to something with eight directions just to show it's all working fine uh, top of my head here we go king of fighters let's boot that up Today, the yeah, AGO games take, do take a little bit longer to cash into the RAM. And you can
can see we've reduced the number of admin buttons on these we've just got escape here and pause here because you want an uncluttered control panel everything else is done via shortcut add some credits fire it up yeah okay skip to the end a better game for example really but this has got the 2.1 sound system as well it has also got the lit marquee but I haven't got the light on at the moment in this one um, as you can see everything's working just fine there running the LGL just nice beautiful size display if you like fighting games and um, you can see everything there it's working just sweet right if I come out of that what I'll do now is shut this down and show you its little party piece. <coughs> Skip that. Anyone watching this, don't do that on your machine. Give it a chance to shut down properly. And then, if we reach inside the machine. Unplug the USBs. You'll see that this control panel isn't actually fully integrated into the machine. If I pull this back, you can now see that the control panel completely separates from the machine. The wires just feed in through the back there, and the control panel completely lifts out to be separate from the machine. And there is actually a, a short se uh, shelf section there um, for the customer to put clamp things like steering wheels, um, a Star Wars yoke, and other kinds of controls too. He wanted it to look like um, one of our standard kind of master machines with the fully integrated sides and everything so once this is removed it's still got full side pieces in place but it means that the control panel could be taken elsewhere and played on the machine if you wanted it to it's a fully standalone thing and it also means that other controls can be clamped onto the shelf in its place um, if you want to play things like uh, certain races and things like that um, it's, I'm not sure about the fine points of that with the customer, he's going to work that out himself, but the design works just nicely. And the best thing is, because uh, we've made it fairly tight, the fit is very snug, and it means that during normal gameplay you can thrash as hard on those joysticks as you want, and the whole control panel is not going to slip or move or anything during gameplay. Held in there entirely by gravity, and a little bit of friction. You can see it integrates perfectly there. Now the joystick colours are due to be changed, um, but those are on order from Germany. Um, not here yet, but I just wanted to be able to do a finished video of the machine, because technically the machine is complete. And for anyone who's been interested in something very similar, who's got ideas about integrating things like an X-Arcade panel, um, we're now kind of at the stage where we can start offering that if anyone is interested. You don't have to go quite as large as this, but it is nice if you've got the room. So good luck to Arthur with that one. Um, and we welcome plenty of uh, comments and suggestions on this one because this is completely unique.